Hey everyone, many of you requested to show my Roblox studio settings. I just want you to make sure that these settings are my personal setting. It helps me to navigate easily around, and I hope it helps you too. So first you want to go to File. Then click on Studio Settings. There are too many options in this bar, so try to copy most of them. The camera settings are the speed for your navigation. It's important to adjust the speed so you can freely move through objects and easily select any overlapping parts. Set the theme on dark to get that modern black theme. It's so nice and relaxing. The render throttle percentage. Scales. How much rendering will be throttled when the game window isn't being focused on, you can set this between 100 to 110. Make sure your hover speed is on slow, it's like shifting in Minecraft. The color palette is optional. You don't really have to copy this one, but I'll show it just for you. I personally prefer a thinner object outline so I can easily see the gap between parts. If you have a hard time spotting the selection, then keep it on default. You can copy the rest of the settings. I didn't really change anything in the scripting editor bar, but I'll still show it. Also the diagnostic and network bar. The physics one also got few changes. Just apply anchor shown check. For the rendering one, it helps your environment to look realistic and of better quality, but it costs your CPU power. Set the quality level to 21 for the best render quality. Set the mesh detail level to 04. Reload assets on. Set the graphics mode to automatic. For now, save and restart. Now let's take a look at the beta features open file and you will find it below the studio settings. These features are non-realized updates for Roblox Studio, so users can test them before these updates are made available to a wider audience. Here are the features that I like the most in this list. Ah yes, the Material AI Generator is the best tool you could ever wish for in Roblox Studio. It allows you to create PBR material that has a 2D shadow and light reflection, but not just a normal texture. Isn't that cool, right? Before I finish this video, let's take a look at the, the AI Material Generator. For example, let's search for a wood material that I can add on this part. 